Damn, it's too big. What's up guys, we are back. Today is a new day. We have a new mod to do. We're going to tackle this $3 aux mod challenge. Uh, the end game goal is to have a uh, auxiliary output or input, I should say, into our uh, factory head unit. It's going to be much cheaper than putting a uh, new head unit in. Uh, then we have to have a conversion kit for a dash and all that. And that gets real expensive real quick. Um, so until I have time to save up for that, this should host over. Let's go ahead and get started with this. I did not have a 4.5 millimeter uh, socket or driver, quarter inch drive. And here is our loom um, connected to the audio jack. I'll include a uh, wiring diagram down in the description of how you need to do this. It's pretty easy. All you'll need is five different wires, uh, different colors. Probably the easiest for you so you can keep everything uh, accounted for. And this is just the whole piggyback loom. Make sure you make it long enough to reach the back of your car. And now these are the 4.5 millimeter uh, bolts that you need to be taken out. And then there's one torx bit on the back. And that will allow us to take this face plate off. So let's go ahead and let's get started on that. Right from the sky. 
face plate or the, the bottom plate on the top is going to slide out and then up and it will explode everything inside of the radio that we need to get to. Now this is the harness that we need to get to here. Um, this is what it is going to be in control of the uh, C audio signals. Um, we will be essentially cutting into them and then uh, giving it continuity through the audio jack which will give us the option to put an audio jack in there and send our own music signals to those wires and uh, overpower the ones coming through the CDs. Uh, now, right here, I couldn't get the plug to come off. It's on there pretty good. Um, you don't have to take the plug off, but you are working with a little bit less room if you don't. But it doesn't hinder the overall process of the project. And now the connector that we are going to be cutting and splicing into is this one I'm pointing to right here. Um, as you can see, it has a black wire all the way at the end, and you need to start counting from the opposite end of the black wire, or the ground wire. So we will be cutting wires one and three. And this does change uh, with the ear model of the radio that you have. Now I have a 2002 Corvette, so that means I have the newer style. The older styles you'll be cutting the fourth and the fifth wire, uh, which I believe are the analog FM um, transmitters. Um, so it'll just look, work a little differently. So you'll have to be an FM to make the older style work while the newer style works off of the CD. But I am going one wire at a time so I don't have any uh, cross connections. I found using a razor blade it was a little bit easier to strip the wires than a wire stripper. I didn't have a wire stripper that went down small enough on me. Alright, so now it's time to drill a hole. Um, this hole is going to be used to run the whole kind of pigtail harness that we got going on here through the radio housing. Um, you'll probably have to step your bit up aside a few times. That's what I had to do. Um, just make sure when you pick a place to drill that you're not drilling too many components or uh, solder locations or any wires. Alright, so now that we have our hole drilled, uh, we have our pigtail harness pulled through, um, we're now going to solder some connections. Uh, I want the 10 line first before I stick the wires together. So now what we're doing by soldering these wires together guys is we are creating continuity between the uh, CD transmitter wires so that way we still retain function of our uh, CD option of our head unit if we choose to use it. Um, but when we have something plugged into this component that we have purchased from Radio Shack, it will um, sort of overpower the sound from your CD and you won't hear your sound from your CDs and you will only hear the songs that you were playing from your device uh, that you have plugged in. Um, so it's just kind of making a interruption in the circuit, um, but by soldering the wires together, we are still giving the uh, circuit continuity to be able to work under normal conditions as well.
this is where I finally decided to uh, attach a round for the whole jack. Um, so I, I chose here because it's already a uh, factory ground for the circuit board. Um, and if you kind of wedge open, there is a uh, metal plate between the chassis of the head unit. You can just pry those out together and then you can stick the ground wire right down in between them. So it's real nice and tight, uh, has good contact to metal. Um, and that was the best option for a ground I could find. Of course, you can always set it up uh, to a different ground as long as you have good contact to the chassis of the head unit casing. All right, guys, so we are back in the car. It is dark out now, um, but I've got everything rerouted. Um, really easy to put the radio back in and take the trim pieces off. Just be careful, don't scratch anything. Um, use those plastic non-marring tools like I said. You can see here that this is our pigtail loom coming out of our radio um, going to our aux jack. Um, now you can put that aux jack into here um, if you like that kind of look. Um, you can really put it anywhere as long. Just make sure you got a good ground in your case. If you don't have a good ground inside your case, uh, you're going to get a lot of static and your music is not going to sound good. Uh, me personally, I like it. You can see right in here. Um, this is inside the armrest. It is very out of sight. Um, makes it look like the car has not been messed with. Um, and then put the cable in there while you're oh, not using it. Oh. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We got our phone plugged in. Um, we are playing some music from Trap Nation. You can find them on YouTube and they make some good stuff. Um, yeah, as you can hear, it's real nice. The audio is pretty crystal clear. Bass is good, treble is good. Sounds like you're playing it right from a uh, you know Bluetooth or like if it uh, had a factory auxiliary cable. So I'd say uh, well done. Uh, so guys, all in all, I mean a total of probably a twenty something bucks. Uh, we got an aux cable, um, input, all wired up, um, semi professionally, and uh, it's gonna make those long drives quite a bit better. Uh, not having to find a radio station or buy a CD. Um, so that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you for tuning in.